Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog PharmaSonBoom.com and today I want to share with you 10 easy sewing projects for beginners. So in my recent series that I shared with you, my simple sewing series, I went through all the basics of sewing to take you from a person who's maybe never sewn, always wanted to, to someone who can sew all kinds of basic things around the house. Now trust me, if you know those simple sewing skills that I shared with you, you truly can make all kinds of things. So today I wanna to share with you some projects that you can actually make now. Number one are aprons. Aprons are super simple to make. Even if you add little pockets or make a cross back apron, like a pinafore style apron, they are so simple to make. Half aprons, anything like that, so easy. All they require is some hems and seams, nothing fancy. Now you can add ruffles, which we talked about, but all of them are super easy. They're some of the first things that I learned to make and they make really great gifts around Christmas time. So you could get just a basic apron and make them for every lady on your list. On my channel, I have tutorials for an adult size pinafore apron with or without a ruffle. Then I also have one for a kid size. Now that's what's so great about aprons, they don't have to fit right. So making a dress or a shirt, those are a little bit more advanced techniques because if they don't fit right, then someone who's wearing them obviously looks pretty silly. An apron, one size fits all. You need an adult size and a kid size, but that's about it. All right, the second one, is throw blankets. Now, believe it or not, a throw blanket is basically just a couple of materials put together, right sides together, sewn around the outside, flipped out, and then top stitched. I have a tutorial for one on here called my linen and ruffle throw blanket. It is one of my most popular sewing tutorials. It's one of my favorite items in my home. And all you need to know to make that is how to make a ruffle, which we talked about, and how to make a seam. That's pretty much it. Now, if you wanna make a throw blanket, leave out the ruffle, it's even more basic. There are a lot of variations of this project that you can make, and it's a super simple project for beginners. All right, the third one is pillow covers. Now, on my channel, I have a tutorial for the most basic pillow cover, so simple to make, just need a couple hems and a seam. I also have a grain sack set where you make the basic pillow cover on the inside and then a grain sack tie pillow cover on the outside to make a cute little farmhouse style pillow cover set. I promise you that that second one is just as easy as the first and you can totally do it with very basic sewing skills. All right, the fourth is a little skirt. Now skirts, when you are first starting sewing, are the easiest project to make. Seriously, just two pieces of fabric put together with a couple of side seams, an elastic casing, and a hem at the bottom. They're easy to measure and fit on a child, and even for beginners, take less than 30 minutes. Now you can add a ruffle at the bottom, or you can just keep it super basic and whip one up for, seriously, your daughter to wear tonight. Number five is a basket liner. So you have baskets around your house that Maybe it would look a lot prettier with a fabric. Sometimes I like to make things coordinate, so you might make curtains in one fabric and then make a coordinating basket liner for maybe a nursery or bedroom. Super simple project to make. I actually share a tutorial on here on how to do that with a ruffle. Now you can omit the ruffle and make it even easier. It's really not as complicated as it sounds. All right, number six, again, another project for little girls. Sorry if you don't have any little girls in your life. I know that my Last three kids were boys, so this is kind of getting further and further removed from my life, but I used to make a ton of peasant dresses. They are the easiest dress to make for kids. They have a lot of elastic in them, so it's very forgiving on the sizing, and nothing about them is complicated. You don't even have to add a ruffle if gathers scare you. It's something that once you make a couple times, you could whip out 10 of them in a day. They are so simple. In fact, one time, my sisters were going to Haiti. And so my mom and my sisters and I, we all got together and we made a whole box full of dresses for the little girls that were there. We use a bunch of different fabrics. You can mix and match. You can put one fabric in the band, one on the skirt, one on the sleeves. It's so easy to mix and match. We were sewing all day and ended up with a huge pile of dresses. My sister brought back pictures and they all loved their dresses. 
What's so great about them is because of the elastic, they can fit for many years. I know with my daughters, they wore them a while as dresses, and then after a while, they were shirts because with the elastic, they would kind of just grow with them. Now, I have a tutorial for a peasant dress on here. The particular one I have on here has a band around the middle. You can also do an elastic band. You could do a ruffle or not, but I will link that in the description below. All right, number seven is curtains. Whether you're doing just a rod pocket at the top, a tab top, a tie top, Curtains are so easy. I actually have tutorials for all three of those styles on here. Honestly, all of them are for beginners. All you have to do is be able to measure how long you want your curtains and account for that in your seams and hems, but they're basic and you could decorate on the cheap like in my tutorial where I dyed drop cloth and used those for my curtain. So that's a very cheap way to get a lot of fabric. If you have really tall windows, uh, you can customize them with any color dye and they're so easy. All right, number eight is swaddle blankets. So if you have a baby shower coming up or you're pregnant or someone you know is pregnant, swaddle blankets couldn't be easier. You literally cut out a rectangle of gauze fabric, hem it around the sides, and you have yourself a great baby gift. I personally love muslin or gauze swaddle blankets. They're great for summer babies, winter babies. I feel like they're a total baby essential and very easy to make. Number nine, believe it or not, is a duvet cover. So I have a tutorial on here for a ruffle duvet cover that I made for my girl's room. It has different panels and ruffles, but if you wanna make this so basic, you can literally put together two sheets, sew them around the sides, turn them right side out, and then add ties or buttons at the top. So basic, you can use any color fabric. Maybe if you find some sheets you really love at a Goodwill or something, but you want a duvet cover, you can go that route. You can use any type of fabric, any different panels you can customize. What I really like is that you can make it the color of the room. So in my daughter's room, I wanted to make some bunting and a duvet and pillows that all matched. And so I used a variety of fabrics and put them together to make that project. And it really was easy. All right, number 10 is the easiest of all, so I'm not really sure why I shared it last, but it's making projects from tea towels. So I have a couple tutorials on here on how to make an apron from tea towels and how to make a pillow from tea towels. You seriously take it, fold it in half, sew around the outside and add ties. It is so fast. You find a tea towel, maybe the Magnolia ones at Target or something that you're just like, this is way too cute to be a tea towel. You can snag those up and make yourself some quick pillows for your home. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed all 10 of these tutorials. I have them all right here on my YouTube channel for you to check out and try. Now that you've gone through the Simple Sewing series, you can make all of these for your home. And trust me, once you do, you're just gonna get better and better and you're gonna think of more ways that you can customize on the ideas that I did, add your own little ruffle here, your own little button here, and make them your very own so that everything in your home is unique. That's what I love so much about sewing. You can have your own vision and completely create it from scratch. So it's just such a good skill to have. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button for more DIY projects like this, food from scratch, and natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse. Mm -hmm.